In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect Visual Basic to MySQL Server and localhost using uh, XAMPP. So I already created a project in Visual Studio 2022 with a single form and a button. I'm just going to use this button to connect to MySQL servers. First thing that I'm going to do is to right click my project in the Solution Explorer, then click the Manage Unit Packages. Then in the Browse uh, tab, I'm going to search for mysql.data and select the mysql.data and click the install button then click ok and click the i accept button so after the installation we could now see the mysql.data inside the packages uh, folder okay then i'm just going to close this one and now i'm going to click anywhere or double click inside the form and at the top i'm going to import the mysql library imports mysql that data that mysql client then inside this btn connect underscore button this is where i'm going to write the connection so this is the uh the btn connect okay so this is just a simple demonstration on how to connect to MySQL server. So if you're working with a large project, it is better to write your uh, code in a class and use a method, a public method, so that you can uh, uh, use that um, anywhere in the project or every time you need a connection to your SQL server. Okay. But for the purpose of a simple demonstration and for the beginners to easily understand and to follow this tutorial, I'm just going to use this as uh, button. Now I'm going to declare a variable, uh, dim. I'm just going to name it as conistr. This will hold the connection string. So server equals to local uh, host. You can use a variable or you can write the connection string directly when you create a, a MySQL connection. Um, local host, then the user. I'm just going to use the default with the root. Then the password, I did not set a password to MySQL server, so I'm just going to leave it blank. Then next is the database. Database. So I'm going to use the school underscore db data database. School underscore db. Then I'm going to declare another variable for MySQL connection dim. I'm just going to use, uh, name it con as new MySQL, MySQL um, connection. Then I'm going to use the con str as the parameter. Con str. And to open the connection, just type in con dot open. And to check if we are connected with the server, I'm going to use the message box. That show then con that state. Okay, then run the program and click the connect to MySQL server button. And we have a one, a value of one, which is the state of the connection. One means we are connected to the server. So I'm going to change some of the values here. For example, the uh, database, I'm just going to use sample DB. Then for the root, I'm going to use admin and run again the program and click the button. So we have here error to allows for user admin using method MySQL the password failed with message access denied for user admin at localhost using password no. So I, um, I don't have a admin username in the MySQL and I did not set the password for MySQL server, that's why this error um, occurred when I click the connect to MySQL button. Okay, so I'm going to uh, use again the root and for the database is school underscore DB and try to run the program again. Okay, so we have one. So to prevent your program from crashing, when it encounter um, errors, um, you can use the error handler like the try catch. So let's do that here for just simple demonstration. Um, 
try. Then I'm going to write the open uh, call that open side, and I'm going to show message here. Uh, that show x that message. So let's try uh, to change the database. Like I'm just going to use school. Then here uh, message box, message box. That show if we are connected. So I'm just going to use a text here connected to my SQL server. Okay, let's try. We have an error, but the program did that crash, okay? Because we have the error, error handler. So I'm going to use the school DB again, then try to run. Okay. So connected to MySQL server, okay? So this is just a simple demonstration on how to connect to MySQL server. If you learned something from this video, please consider subscribing, like, and share this video, and click the notification bell. You'll get notified every time I upload a new video.